you so much for being here. Happy Labor Day. I hope that your day is going well and uh, it's off to a good start already. Um, wanted to provide a class today that was just to wake up, to flow a little bit, warm the body up, stretch out, uh, provide a little bit of mindfulness thought to, to kind of move us into the week. And, um, you know, as always, if you're going through stuff, uh, it's, it's always an interesting thing doing these videos because typically in a class you would have an audience and although I still do teach publicly at certain places, um, a lot of the interaction that has been taking place has been through uh, platforms of video. And sometimes things can get lost along the way, um, how the intention is to be received, and of course that's always on the receiving end too. But, um, you know, if you have any questions or if you're working through some things, then please do not be afraid to ask. Uh, I certainly don't have all the answers, but I do have some incredible teachers that have been helpful for me and um, I can always uh, reach out to them. And that's the beautiful part about mindfulness is that we no longer have to take the work onto ourselves to do it, but we actually have a community of people that may have an answer, whereas we may be not have that answer in the moment. And I find that there's uh, a lot of teachers that have been beneficial to me, um, aren't just alive, but have also transitioned paths. And so uh, I do bring up a lot of teachings and teachers that have physically passed away, yet their teachings are still here present for us to pick up. And I oftentimes like it to uh, just breadcrumbs. Um, teachers will leave breadcrumbs along the way to help students, and I'm a student, but to help them pick things up so that way they don't feel lost because sometimes if you look at the external world that's taking place outside, we can almost get a sense of there's a lot of perhaps lostness taking place. But when we instill and, and embrace some of the teachings that are out there as reminders, and it could be teachings from the Bible, it could be teachings from the Torah, it could be teachings from the Quran, whatever it is, these teachings are there for us to reconnect with because the reason why they're called timeless teachings is because we may receive them uh, at a certain age as we are younger, but as we evolve and as we grow, the meaning and definition behind it is different, yet it still has significance. So that's why it would be timeless, is that it just carries through time. And one of the teachers that I, I really enjoy reading, who is still alive, is uh, the Dalai Lama. And he says a couple things that I feel are important, and this is from a desk calendar that I have, and I, I share these and, and hold them um, typically for some classes that I really like. And he says, I have always had this view about the modern education system. We pay attention to brain development, but the development of warm-heartedness we take for granted. And it's so true. Um, we get so focused on intellectual uh, information that we forget to talk about the heart. And I'm not saying that's necessarily good or bad, but we can see this huge shift in stress levels and tension levels. And a lot of it is because we are living from this place up here in the mind rather than bringing it down to the heart. When we really start to practice yoga, we can begin to understand where we are living from in our body. Are we living just from here? Are we living in our truth? Are we living in our hearts? Are we living in egos? Are we living uh, um, based on our sexuality and things like that down in this region? Again, none of it is bad or terrible. It's just an observation of, well, where are we actually living from and where are we coming from and how are we approaching this life that we are experiencing? Because where we choose to approach it from has a completely different effect. He also said, children always look to their parents. Parents should be more calm. You can teach children that you face a lot of problems, but you must react to those problems with a calm mind and reason. And this is why it is always a practice. It is not a yoga perfect. Day in and day out, it's just we practice, we practice, we practice, we fine-tune. And in that fine-tuning, ever so subtly, little things and shifts and changes start to take place. But the thing is, is that a small child is always watching the adult. And I see this again, bringing back to uh, um, working at recovery.
recovery centers, I see this in people all the time where they may have had a, 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 an angry adult figure in their life or someone who abused a substance and that became the normal for them. And so they grew up with that belief system in place. And so as teachers and as students, it's learning to understand how we are reacting to things. Are we being calm? Are we being angry? Do we have even control over that? And then if we are angry, how are we coping with that? If we are sad, how are we coping with that? Are we just dipping into substances and um, uh, potential substance abuse? There's a whole layer to look at, but it is of importance to understand this because it not only causes stress on the physical body, it also causes stress on those that we may be reaching out and touching as well. Finally, he says, it is said that meditation on love, even for a moment, far exceeds the merits accumulated through making infinite offerings to infinite Buddhas. And what he means is, is just from time to time, meditate on love. What is love to you? What does love actually mean? It's an honest question to dive into and look at. What does love mean to you? What does love look like to you? What does love feel like? Being in the military, these weren't questions that were asked often, but as I've gotten older, something that I've found of value is to ask these questions. And especially when we have family around us, especially when we work with other students, because the last thing that I need coming out of me is some conditioned hate form uh, that was conditioned from a period of time earlier in my life. It's looking beyond that, letting go of that, and understanding know how to embrace love a little bit more because the one thing that I have seen in my experience and travels and work that I've done is that love definitely heals and learning to be with yourself and appreciate yourself and love yourself a little bit more is a highly healing practice as well. So with that said, thank you for listening. I feel like I talked long enough, about seven minutes or so, so we'll get into our practice. Let's start in a comfortable cross-seated position today. And as you find your comfortable cross-seated position, place the hands on the knees, palms face down. If you need to sit on a bolster, please sit on a bolster. Drop the shoulders down the back. Allow the collarbones to spread. Relax the face, relax the eyes, lips, mouth, jaw, throat. Begin to let go of your day. Let go of your week. Let go of what's next and what's to come. Observe your breath, the inhales and the exhales. Observe the depth of the breath, the pace of the breath, the balance in the breath. Let's take a deep breath in, fill your lungs up. Exhale, let it go. Deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. breath in, fill lungs up, and exhale, letting go. Please continue breathing on your own, and just check in with your body. Remember the breath is a connection to the body, and the breath is also a connection to the mind. Which one do we choose to give our attention to? As you check in with your body from your head to your toes, be aware of any stress, tension, soreness, tightness, anything that feels out of balance or out of alignment. And as we move through our practice, take breaks, rest, most importantly, listening to the body. Place the 
left hand over the heart, right hand over the left hand, lift the chest up a little bit more. Let's set an intention for our practice today. Let's set a goal for our practice. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in, fill your lungs all the way up to the top, and then hold your breath as you arrive at the top. Sip once, sip twice, sip three times. Now hold it, roll the shoulders down the back, collarbones spread, set a clear, focused goal or intention for your practice today. Exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Let's do an OM together. Inhale. Switch the crossing of our legs, our other shins on top. With our other shin on top, hands on knees, palms face down, spine lengthened, inhale. Exhale, let's start to circle our head back. As we circle the head out, go slow. Take your time. Steady inhales through the nose, steady exhales out the nose. Good. And start to slowly circle your spine out. Take your time, inhaling as you rise, exhaling as you dive down. Next inhale, rising back up. Exhale, opposite direction, circle the head out, go slow. And as you circle your head, just a gentle question to ask yourself, what are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for today? Who are some people in your life that you're grateful for? Circle your spine out. When we start to focus on the things that we have rather than the things that we don't have, we are able to shift our perspective. And in that, we don't get caught up in this feeling of lack, that we're lacking something or that there's not enough to go around but rather we can celebrate what we have. And on top of celebrating what we have, we can also begin to share what we have with others rather than that whole coveting and holding on to and clinging. Because at the end of the day, if we don't start to practice at some point, letting go and giving and sharing, then we end up becoming almost claustrophobic and stuck in space because we are too busy clinging and holding, all of which we'll have to eventually let go of in the first place. So let's take a deep breath in as we arrive back up at the top. Reach your arms up. And on the exhale, float the hands down, chin down towards the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up, look up, palms touch. Exhale, float the hands down, chin down, arms down. Inhale, arms sweep up, look up, palms touch. Exhale, chin down, hands down, arms down. Three more. Inhale, reach the arms up, look up. 
make our way onto our hands and knees. As we make our way onto our hands and knees, let's just start to tick-tock the hips side to side, just to warm the hips up a little bit, the outer hips. And then slowly start to make circles with the hips. Take your time. Gradually making the circles larger and larger. As you circle the hips, bend the elbows. Circle the head out. Let it be a whole body movement. forward. Exhale, opposite direction. Circle the hips out. Go slow. As you go slow, breathe deep. your next inhale, let's come back towards center. As you come back towards center, all we're going to do is shift back and forth. Inhale, shift forward, shoulders beyond the wrists. Exhale, hips back, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, shoulders beyond the wrists. Exhale, hips back, child's pose. Inhale, shifting forward. Shoulders beyond the wrists. Exhale, shifting back, child's pose. Two more. Inhale, we shift forward, shoulders beyond the wrists. Exhale, hips back, child's pose. And inhale, shifting forward, shoulders beyond your wrists. Exhale, shift back into a child's pose. Take a full breath in wherever you're at. Exhale, walk the hands over to the right. Left hand on top of the right. Roll the left rib cage down. Drop the left hip back towards the left heel. Breathe through the left side waistline, left rib cage. Deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe into where you feel the stretch. Inhale. Exhale. That's called directing the breath. Being aware of where it's tense and then breathing into it. Full breath in. Exhale. With your next inhale, walk the hands back to center. Then walk the hands over to the left side. Place your right hand on top of the left. Roll your right rib cage down. Right hip drops back to your right heel. Full breath in. Exhaling. Deep breath in. Exhaling. One more, full breath in. Exhaling. With your next inhale, walk the hands back forward, press down to the palms, shift forward into a tabletop position. As we come into a tabletop position, Let's step our right foot out to the right side and then plant the right foot down towards the ground. You'll feel a stretch in the inner right groin. Hands on the ground, shoulders over wrists, press into your palms and fingertips. Inhale, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale. 
exhale, chin to chest, round your spine, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round your spine, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round spine, tuck your tailbone. And inhale, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, tuck your tailbone. Neutral spine, inhale. Exhale, lower the right knee down. We'll switch sides. We'll take our left leg out to the left. With your left leg out to the left, press the left foot down. Shoulders over wrists, right hip over right knee. Inhale, pull the heart forward, look forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round your spine, tuck tailbone. Inhale, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, tuck your tailbone. Two more. Inhale, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale, round the spine, tuck tailbone. And inhale, heart pulls forward, look forward, cow pose. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, tuck your tailbone. Finding a neutral spine, inhale. Exhale, lower your left knee back down towards the ground. As you lower your left knee down, press down through your palms, tuck your toes, lift your knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. So we come into our downward facing dog, pedal the feet out, bend the knees, walk your dog out, wag the hips side to side. And this is sort of a standard pose in the yoga practice. It's actually, I find it to be considered a resting pose, um, but for those that may be beginning, it is a little bit of a challenging pose, but once we learn how to engage our body properly, it's not so much anymore. All right, so let's find our downward facing dog. Let's open the hands wide, root through your palms and fingertips, and separate your feet about hip distance apart. Turn your heels slightly outward. As you turn your heels outwards, press out of your shoulders, allow your head to hang, soften the facial expression. Relax your lips, mouth, jaw. On an inhale, lift your hips and heels high into the air. Exhale, press your chest towards your thighs, lower your heels to the ground, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, lift your hips and heels high into the air. Exhale, press chest towards thighs, lower heels towards the ground, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhaling, letting it go. Full breath in. Exhale, letting it go. With your next inhale, walk your hands back to meet the feet. Come into a forward fold at the back of your mat. As you come to the back of your mat, clasp opposite elbow, opposite hands, just a little sway side to side, back and forth, back and forth. Remember to be gentle on your body, gentle in all ways. Especially when you practice yoga. We're not here to fight our bodies. We're not here to get upset at our bodies. We live out of this body. There's nothing to be upset with. In fact, the more we have anger held towards the physical form, the more we hold that inside of ourselves. And unfortunately, that can be unleashed in a lot of negative ways. Switch the crossing of the forearm to other forearm on top. And I found that it's just learning to love your body a little bit more. I mean, you have this for the extent of your lifetime. You live in it. You see from it. You put food in it. You eat with it. You engage with friends with your body. It's learning to understand and live with the body differently than maybe we have been taught in the past. In doing so, we can also live a little bit healthier life, fingertips down towards the ground. On an inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips. 
fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold in, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Pause here. Reach the crown of the head forward, shoulder blades down the back, collarbones spread. Please reach your arms back, interlace the hands behind your back, lift the hands up off the tailbone. Let's take a full breath in. And on the exhale, bend into your left knee, straighten your right leg, revolve your chest towards the right side of the room. Keep the hands lifting off the tailbone, breathe into your lower back. Full breath in. Exhale, turn and twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, turn and twist. One more. Deep breath in. Exhale, turn and twist. On the inhale, come back towards center. Switch the interlace of the hands, other pinky on top. Hands lift off the tailbone, inhale. Exhale, bend into your right knee, revolve your chest to the left, gaze over your left shoulder. Collarbone spread. Bend into your right knee just a little bit more. Hold here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Deep breath in. Exhaling, and one more, inhale, exhaling, come back towards center, release your hands, fingertips down towards the ground, on an inhale, half lift, hands to hips, elbows draw behind us, exhale, press to stand, let's walk up towards the top of our mat. As we walk to the top of the mat, bring the hands to the heart. As we bring the hands to the heart, drop the chin down towards the chest. Close the eyes for just a moment. Come back to the intentions you set for your practice today. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill lungs up all the way. Sip once. Sip twice. Sip three times. Now hold the breath at the top. As you hold the breath, refocus on your intentions that you set. And exhale, release the breath. Arms down along the sides, the gaze is forward. Let's flow a little bit. On an inhale, arms sweep upward, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Inhale, arms reaching up and our palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, plant the fingertips, step the left foot back, lower your left knee to the ground. On the fingertips, inhale, lift the chest, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, take your hips back, lengthen through your right leg. On an inhale, half lift, we lengthen our spine. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Inhale, bend into your right knee, lift your left knee, runner's lunge. Exhale, walk your hands to the left, pivot on the feet, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold it. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart. Inhaling, arms out to the sides, reaching up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, release the hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, bend into your left knee, shift the weight to the back of your mat. Inhale, back to center. 
Exhale, bend into your right knee and walk the hands to the front of the mat, pivot on the feet. On the inhale, look forward. Exhale, quietly step your left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, folding it in. Inhale, press to stand, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center, thumb up, keeping deep. Inhale, arms sweep up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the fingertips, step the right foot back, lower your right knee down to the ground. On the fingertips, inhale, lift the chest, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, hips back, lengthen through your left leg. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Inhale, bend into your left knee, lift your right knee, runner's lunge. Exhale, walk your hands to the right, wide-legged, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to our hearts. Inhaling, arms out to the sides and we reach up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, hands, fingertips down towards the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, bend into your right knee, shift the weight to the back of the mat. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend into your left knee. On the inhale, walk your hands forward, pivot on the feet, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step your right foot up to meet the left, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, we fold it in. Inhale, press to rise and reach upwards, our palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Inhale, arms reach up and our palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step your feet back into a plank position. Inhale, we shift forward in our plank. Exhale, lower knees, lower chest, lower chin to the ground. Inhale, cobra, peel the hearts up, lift the chest up. Exhale, child's pose, hips back towards the heels. On an inhale, shift forward, tabletop position. Exhale, tuck toes, lift knees, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, fill lungs up. And exhale, let it go. On an inhale, please come high on your tiptoes, bend your knees and look between your hands. At the base of your exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Inhale, arms reaching up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, we lengthen our spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop your feet back, lower halfway down, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees and between your hands. Base of your exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, half lift, we lengthen our spine. Exhale, 
exhale, we forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, low in your hips. Exhale, press to rise, come all the way up. Hands to the heart center, Samasthi Bini. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, low in the hips. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, be as smooth as you can. Exhale, plant your fingertips, step your left foot back, runner's lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge, arms reach upwards. Exhale, goal post the arms, lean it back. Inhale, reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, interlace the hands behind your back. Inhale, lean back, lift up, look upwards. Exhale, fold over the right leg, hands lift off the tailbone. Inhale, rise and reach back up, crescent lunge. Exhale, step your left foot forward, chair pose. Inhale, press to stand, come up. Exhale, hands to our hearts. Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. Exhale, smoothly forward fold, hands fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the fingertips, step your right foot back, runner's lunge. Inhale, please rise, crescent lunge, arms reach upwards. Exhale, goal post the arms, lean it back. Inhale, reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, opposite interlace of the hands behind the back. Inhale, lean back, lift the chest, look upwards. Exhale, fold over your left thigh, humble crescent, hands lift off the tailbone. Inhale, rise back up and reach, crescent lunge. Exhale, step your right foot forward, chair pose. Inhale, press to stand, come up, palm touch. Exhale, hand to the heart center. Inhale, chair pose, we get low in our hips. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or float the feet back, lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Back bend, inhale, pull the heart forward, lift the chest, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. Breath in, fill lungs up, and exhale, let it go. Add a little more flow here. Inhale, right leg lifts, look between the hands. Exhale, step your right foot forward, left heel down, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, please rise, warrior one, arms reach upwards. Exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch. Inhale, flip your right palm, reverse, left hand, left thigh, reach it up and back. Exhale, side angle, right elbow, right thigh, left arm extends and reaches. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Inhale, right hip draws back, right fingertips reach forward. Exhale, right hand down, left arm reaches up, triangle pose, Trikonasana. Inhale, rise up into a warrior two. Exhale, crescent lunge, heel toe the right foot over, and lift your left heel up. Inhale, our palms touch. Exhale, fold in halfway. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, warrior three. Float the back left foot up off the ground. Press down to the right foot. Take a full breath in. And exhale, lower the fingertips to the ground. 
left foot meets the right, forward fold. Inhale, half lift lengthen. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, low in the hips. Exhale, press to stand, come up. Hands to the heart center, Samasthiti. Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. Exhale, forward fold, hands down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float the feet back, lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Back bending, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Full breath in, fill lungs up. In exhale, letting it go. On an inhale, lift your left leg high, three-legged dog, look between the hands. Exhale, quietly step your left foot between the hands, right heel down, heel to heel alignment. On an inhale, please rise, warrior one, arms reach upwards. Exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, flip your left palm, reverse, right hand, right thigh, reach it up and back. Exhale, side angle, left elbow, left thigh, right arm extends forward. On an inhale, rise up, warrior two, Vita Vajrasana two. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Inhale, left hip draws back, left fingertips reach forward. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, rise up, warrior two, bending into the left knee. Exhale, crescent lunge, lift your right heel, heel toe the left foot over to the left. Inhale, our palms touch as you reach up. Exhale, fold in halfway. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, float your right foot up off the ground. Warrior three, Vita Vidrasana three. On an inhale, press the right heel back. Reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fingertips to the ground. Lower your right foot down and meet the left. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, we fold it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards and stand, palm touch. Exhale, hands to our hearts. Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Now on the exhale, plant your fingertips, step your left foot back. Lower your left knee to the ground. Untuck your back left toes. As you untuck your back left toes, heel toe your right foot over to the outer edge of the right hand side of your mat. And then take your hands to the ground, the inside of your right foot. Now maybe you stay here. Maybe you lower down to your forearms. Sit into the hips. And as you breathe into the left psoas and right hamstring, elongate the spine, settle in, surrender into the posture. Try not to fight it. And you can choose to stay here. Maybe you take your right hand to the inner right knee and press your right knee away from you as you sit your hips down. The other option would be to bend your left knee and reach back with your right hand. Maybe you can grab the foot and try to bring your left thigh towards the ground and roll your chest open. Hold here for five, four, three, two, take a deep breath in. Exhale, left foot down, right hand down, left hand down. Heel toe your right foot all the way over to the left side of your mat. 
And then coming into a single leg pigeon, draw the right hip back. As you draw the right hip back, lift the chest up, inhale. And on the exhale, walk your hands forward into your single leg pigeon. What can you relax? What can you release? Again, try not to fight your body. Be aware of when you're fidgeting and moving around on your mat. These are all sort of emanations of being uncomfortable, but we try to work through the discomfort. Steadiness and ease with every posture. And if it means that you're too deep into a posture and you can't hold it with steadiness and ease, then please back off a little bit. That way, you can hold the posture longer and target the area with less of that mental stress coming up that gets in the way. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two. With your next inhale, walk your hands in, root down through your palms, cock your back, left toes, lift your left knee, sweep the right leg up and back. Inhale, look between the hands. Exhale, step your right foot forward, step your left foot forward, forward fold to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the fingertips, step your right foot back, Lower your right knee down. Heel toe your left foot over to the left side of your mat. Hands the inside of the left foot. Untuck your back right toe. Now we can choose to stay here. We can choose to lower down to our forearms if that feels right for us as well. Sit into the hips. As you sit into your hips. Breathe. Maybe you choose to stay here. Maybe the left hand to the inner left knee. And you press the left knee away from you. Roll the chest open to your left. Inhaling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the right leg. Come onto the hands and then heel toe your left foot over to the right side. Allow your left knee to sit down towards the ground and reach your right toes back. Lift your chest up. Inhale. And on the exhale, walk your hands forward. Hold it in. Right hip rolls down, right rib cage rolls down. Crawl your hands forward.
breath in, exhale, slide the hands back, root down through the palms, tuck the back right toes, lift the right knee, on an inhale, lift your chest, sweep your left leg up and back, and on the exhale, lower your left foot down, downward facing dog, on an inhale, high on tiptoes, bend the knees and look between your hands at the base of your exhale, spring forward and then come onto your bike. Take the legs out in front of you, lightly shake the legs out. On an inhale, arms reach upward, exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, half lifting. Exhale, folding it in. Inhale, half lifting. Exhale, folding it in. And inhale, half lifting. Exhale, folding it in. With your next inhale, lift your chest up, shake the legs out, and then let's make our way onto our backs. Bring both knees into your chest, give yourself a little rock side to side. You know, and because anger is a natural emotion that does come up or frustration for some people or sadness. You know, one of my teachers who's physically deceased, but Ramana Maharshi, if you saw my post yesterday of my schedule, I posted a uh, picture and a quote from him. And he is all about self-inquiry in order to calm the mind down and quiet the mind down. Bring the thighs and the chest, grab the outside edges of the feet. And I find that of all the different stress management techniques to quiet the mind down, that self-inquiry is one of the fastest and most effective techniques in cessa creating cessation of the mind. Meaning, when we get angry, is to ask ourselves in that moment, just pull ourselves away from the anger for just a second to ask ourselves who's the one that's angry and then just to take a deep breath and to look at that or if we're sad just to stop for a minute just press pause and to say who's the sad one right now if we're in our heads about something is to just self inquire and say who's the one that is getting caught up in all these different thoughts when we learn to do that, we step out of the overthinking mind. We can come back to our heart. We can take a deep breath. We can relax. And we can say to ourselves, guess what? I got this. Because if that wasn't the case, we wouldn't be here today doing what we do. <clears throat> These are all little pointings and teachings to just help us along the way. Slowly bring the knees into your chest. As you bring your knees into your chest, take a full breath in. Exhale, lengthen your left leg forward. And as the right knee hugs in, inhale. Exhale, twist across the body over to your left side. Take the right hand out to your right side. center, bring your left knee into your chest, take your right leg forward, inhaling, 
and exhale, twist it over to your right side. Left arm goes out to the left, left shoulder down, left palm face up. Deep breath in. Exhaling. Full breath in. Exhaling. And deep breath in. Exhaling. Slowly come back towards center. Our left knee hugs in, our right knee hugs in. We hug everything into a tight ball. Please take a full breath, inhale, fill lungs up, sip in a little more air, hug it all together. Then on the exhale, let's release everything down towards the ground as we make our way into our final resting posture, Shavasana. Then just close the eyes. You can place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. Just breathe, letting the head relax, let thoughts go, let them pass. Even if it seems just so important that it has to be looked at right now, just suspend it, put it down. You can always come back to it. Relax the face, the neck, the chest. Relax your shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms. Relax the wrists, hands, and fingers. Let the rib cage relax. Exhale, relaxing, smiling, dwelling in the present moment. slowly start to bring awareness to the hands and the feet, the fingers and the toes. Circle out your wrists, circle out your ankles. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Turn the head left to right. And with the deepest, longest inhales all day, reach and extend the arms up and over the head. Long stretch. And on the exhale, release your arms alongside. Placing a gentle bend in your knees. Please roll either to your left or right side. Use your top hand to press yourself up. And we'll come into a comfortable seated position. As we come into a comfortable seated position, place the hands over the heart. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Observe what's doing the observation and the witnessing.
practice of yoga and the connection of the breath, mind, and body. The observation of what is doing, the connecting, and in that connecting to the present moment, which is here. In doing so, we step out of the busy mind of past thinking and future tripping. And we can dwell in the present. bowing the head down towards the hands as we honor ourselves today our practices for showing up on our mats as we honor our friends families loved ones supporters and gratitude for all the many things we have in our lives and have been given to us this lifetime and gratitude to the many teachers and guides who came long before us who passed along the practices we call yoga releasing the hands down opening the eyes lifting your shins and gratitude friends thank you so much for being here thanking you so much for practice today have a happy labor day